What are consensus estimates? The consensus estimate is meant to give investors a general idea of what analysts are expecting a company to earn. The consensus represents the aggregation of individual estimates provided by analysts that are covering a public company. A consensus number can be provided as either the mean or the median. Capital IQ currently has over 700 contributors who supply estimate data. These contributors include bulge bracket banks, major regional firms, boutiques, and independent research providers. Capital IQ will collect this data from various research documents, broker models, and electronic feed files, all done in real time. Now let's take a look at Company X. Company X currently has five analysts who cover the company. Each analyst is giving an earnings per share, or EPS, estimate for the company's next fiscal quarter. Analyst 1 has an EPS estimate of $0.12. Cents. Analyst number 2 of $0.11. Cents. Analyst number 3, $0.09. Cents. Analyst number 4, $0.16. Cents. And finally, analyst number 5 has $0.08. Cents. We'll use EPS as it's typically the most widely recognized and important forecast measure that financial professionals will look at. Capital IQ will now take these estimates and add these values and divide it by the number of analysts to get the mean consensus estimate. Before this calculation is done, Capital IQ's internal team will make sure each analyst has calculated its EPS estimate on a comparable basis with the other analysts. After doing research, the internal team has found that analyst number four did not include stock-based compensation in its methodology and therefore is not on the same basis as the remaining other four analysts. Capital IQ will go ahead and exclude this particular analyst from its consensus mean estimate. By adding up the remainder values from the other four analysts, we get 40 cents divided by the number of analysts who are now covering the company, which is four, and we get 10 cents, which is the mean consensus estimate. Estimates are constantly getting revised due to a variety of factors. These include company management guidance, peer performance, events, and the overall economy. As these individual estimates are getting changed, so will the consensus estimates. Analysts and investors will closely monitor companies when they report their earnings. They compare the earnings reported, which is the actual, versus the consensus estimate. So let's go back to our company X with a consensus of 10 cents. When the company reports its earnings, investors and analysts will look at two important metrics, surprise difference and surprise percentage. Surprise difference is calculated as the actual minus consensus estimate. So let's say the company reported today of 14 cents as the actual number, minus the consensus number, which we said was 10 cents, and we have a surprise difference of 4 cents. Surprise percentage is calculated as the actual divided by the final consensus estimate, minus 1 multiplied by 100. In this case, we show there was a 40% positive surprise. Typically, if there is a positive earnings surprise, then the share price will likely increase. Conversely, with a negative earnings surprise, it will likely result in a decrease. Capital IQ currently provides estimates on 45 data measures, including EPS, revenue, net income, EBITDA, and EBIT. Capital IQ provides annual, semi-annual, and quarterly periods. Additionally, Capital IQ has calculated items including calendar year, next 12 month, multiples, surprise percentage, and difference. Finally, users have the ability to extract the as-of date so you can see when the forecast was at any point in time.